Hey guys, it's Woodup here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2004 for race 436 in season 2 of the career mode. We're going to Atlanta today. Last race was at Vegas, and it was a pretty good race. Um, if you want to watch the video and see what I'm referring to, check out the video. I don't want to spoil it because maybe some people just watch other videos and maybe they don't watch the other part and then I spoil it and then uh, then I'm getting a uh, phone call saying that they can't sleep at night and I'm the reason why their life's horrible so just there you go um team management we're gonna go to the garage and show you what's been going on chassis one's being one, uh, we got five races for that being built and one race for the repair engine uh, one's being overhauled um, honestly once I do um, cause I, I'm starting to realize now that, uh, like the original, like number, two, what am I trying to say? The, uh, like the, the, like the number one and twos, like they, like no matter how hard I try, it just doesn't seem to be the best. So sooner or later, I'm not, I'm going to have to get rid of them and focus mainly on three, four and, and onwards. Cause, um, cause number one, cause like number one and twos don't always seem to be very, very strong. So yeah, I'm going to probably do that eventually. Maybe when, uh, even with the body, I might, uh. When that gets fully built, I might just um, sell that, like, number two, and then just go from there. So at least I have two pretty solid ones instead of having one shitty one. So that's at least my plan. Um, race weekend, we're going to put in chassis number two, or three. <laughs> Engine number, we're going to go with number three again. And body number three. So it's going to be another pretty solid car, I think. Yeah, another solid car, um, despite it not being um, 100% but healthy it's a still as a car rating as 64 so i'm very very surprised with that so without further ado let's dive into qualifying and see where we start in the race here it is the line of the wall line lap this is the one that counts all eyes are on him as he makes his way around the track if he wants to start up front this has to be the good one it's the final lap Off of turn four, last lap was a 30.9. This one should be a little bit better. We're going to come across the line, and it's a 30.5. Is that a top 20? Yes, it's a top 20. <laughs> oh, that's good. Barely, though. We got 17th. God damn, we're just squeaking by in the sponsor objectives. Mark Marin and Dale Jarrett start up in the front row. Let's get this race underway. Three, two, one. Green flags all your underway here to land for 32 laps, starting on the inside line. I don't know how this car will be. This season's been surprising me, so we're just gonna take it as it goes and just hope for the best. Um, but it's um, we have a horrible start like always, so it's gonna be a, a throwaway lap, I guess. So yeah. Oh well. But the car did seem to have decent pace in qualifying, so I'm hoping for an okay run. We'll see. I'm just gonna try to be very careful, not hit Jerry Nadu for God's sakes. Hang on to the bottom here as Mears is all over my back bumper. And hope we get some decent straight line speed. Not really. That's um, very discouraging. Let's go into one here. Try to get by Nadu for this spot. But the car wants to keep sliding up the track. Okay. Maybe this race will be a little bit harder than I thought. Jimmy Johnson and Bobby Labonte are all over my back bumper. They are faster cars, so if they get by me, it's not a big deal really can't hold off those guys they're still much bigger than me um, we are catching up on Kenny Wallace though who started up in the front of the pack I'm assuming and losing spots like are like crazy so that, that, that's nothing new maybe we can get by him and then lose a spot so ultimately gaining nothing <laughs> essentially there goes Labonte and Jimmy passing us on the outside Joe oh, Jimmy and Kenny almost made contact I think Kenny hit the outside wall but Jimmy gets by me and him and yeah car just feels I don't know. It's, it's It feels a little bit tight, and, but not too bad like Vegas, but I don't know. I don't really think we're going to be as lucky as we were the past couple of races in the season, so this might be a, a pretty bad one. We're all around. The 99 car is down low. Still Burton gets by us there. Really not a whole lot I can do there. I was really trying to uh, hang on. And, yeah, the car just was really tight. I'm definitely going to have to make a wedge adjustment to make it a little bit looser. But yeah, these AI drivers at this track, they're pretty fucking hard. So, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be looking forward uh, to... Maybe pissed off to be better. I don't know. Oh, God, there's sparks ahead of me. But it looks like nothing's really happened. But we're just we're just losing spots. I just really can't hang it on the bottom. So this is just... Um, this, is a, this is just struggling. Or this is just frustrating. Just trying to just continue to do the best that I can. And even if I... It's frustrating just because um, it's not a whole lot I can do right now. Just... I guess hang on. I want to just chill and just kind of hit my marks, but if there's if an AI driver seems to be faster than me right now. I don't know. The pace is terrible. Number five, is still there. The five car is still there. About to pass Joe Nemechek for 25th. Terrell Bai did get by me, but again, we lose a spot and then gain one, so nothing's really accomplished. Seems to be a theme of this race, it seems, but yeah, just can't do anything. Just just stuck. I mean, Kenny Wallace is faster than us. That says a lot. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's better than the last time we were here, I think, so I mean, it is an improvement, but not a major one at this track, I guess. Why does it keep spiking up like that for? It makes no freaking sense. Oh, fucking stupid. There's no reason for it to be spiking up randomly. There's nothing else here that it's like spike. There's like no reason for it to. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Fucking. We'll see how this works out. I caught up to Ricky Craven here just a little bit. People are starting to head down Piro this time by. I will be pinning on lap 15 going into 16, so basically this lap. Just been by myself for a couple laps now, which has been nice, and kind of been able to uh, really pace myself a little bit better and seem to do... It's weird. It seems like I do better when I'm by myself on the racetrack just so I can get a better feel of the car and know how to push it properly without going too much, but... Yeah, pin this time by and 70 miles an hour. Okay, can we get to that. There we go. All right, not repairing damage. We're gonna loosen this car up by half a round, and let's uh, see what pit crew can do and stop. Another 15.4 I saw as I got randomly held up on pit road. That was another solid pit stop. Good job, guys. And look at this. I think we, we might be able to gain a couple more spots than I was originally expecting on that pit stop. So that's really, really a great sight to see. Finally, the pit crew has been doing their job. I just need to have better cars, and then we'll be winning races. I mean, this is... This, I'm just really, really... I mean, even though this is technically the worst race of the season for me, you know, position-wise, but just generally speaking, I mean, this is still good. I mean, last season we were, like, 41st all by myself. I mean, it was just terrible in here. We're in, like, the top 20, so that's really good. I mean, we might lose a couple spots because people have fresher tires and whatnot. Still, I mean, yeah. Picked off another position. The five car is inside. I'm 23rd, uh, mainly because, you know, Terrell Bonnie got by me. And also, I did gain a spot because there was one other guy that was coming out of pit road, and I did pass him. So, again, for the third time in this race, I, I gain a position and then lose one. Thus, nothing is accomplished. We were right there with uh, Jerry Mayfield and uh, Terry Labonte, who Mayfield just blocked him essentially, so that was dirty. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I, think, I definitely think we can get by Mayfield. Terry Labonte, I don't know. But I don't know. I'm, I'm very, I mean, I'm sort of content with it. I would like to get a top 20, get my sponsor objectives and everything, and also beat Johnny Benson as well. But I don't think that'll happen in this race, which kind of sucks. Ooh, somebody, somebody blew up. I got my car sideways, and that is Kevin LePage, and that isn't for position. Well, again, I got my hopes up. Number 13 
Picky Craig was probably going to get by us here. Uh, <laughs> damn it, I just... Not a whole lot I can do, honestly, with that. I mean, they have fresher tires, we don't, so... That seems that seems like it's going to be a problem throughout this uh, this season. I think it's just just people having fresher tires and just blown by us. But if I stay out later, I might lose more spots. So I don't, I'm kind of put in a really awkward position and all that. But I'm still losing spots. This is um, very uh, makes me sad a little bit. We're down a spot. Keep digging. We're all around. Finally, I think I might be able to pass Mayfield with help of McMurray's draft. I'm going to go on a one here and pray that we can get by Jerry Mayfield because I've been stuck behind him for a majority of the second part of the race. And getting off of two, use McMurray's draft, and we clear him. Thank God. Two laps to go. I'm actually catching up on Jerry Nadu, who has lost a lot of ground. I mean, he got by Joe Nemechek, or not Joe Nemechek, freaking Rick Craven and all that. And Johnny Benz is actually losing a lot of ground as well. Maybe we can get to him. But the car is starting to get really, really loose now. So the adjustment did pay off, but now the car is super loose. So I've got to be careful with that. But we're going to go into three here. Maybe get by him as the tires are very, very worn. It always happens at the most pinnacle part of the corner where it really matters to have grip. And then they'll just show up and then mess me up a little bit. But we do get by, almost by Jerry Nadu for 20, 30. He's going to he's gonna hang it up here on the outside and probably give us a good fight. But we're going to come up the track and hold him off there. But a little bit too much because the car is tight now. <laughs> And getting off of two for the final time, we're side by side and trying to hold on to a straight line. Why is that so hard? And then we go down into three, make sure the car holds, and it does stick, but it's not going to be enough to catch Johnny Benson up ahead of me, but we will come off a of turn four as Jerry Nato hits the outside wall, and we come in 23rd place. That was a pretty good race, all things considered, because how Atlanta is, and Harvick with two wins this season. Good job, Harvick. But yeah, just... Not really the best race, but way it's 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 it's, it's a it's a step down considering how the last three races of the season were, but it definitely is an improvement compared to the last two races at Atlanta. So I'll definitely take that. Um, we really didn't get any of our sponsor Jetta for qualifying, and that's really it. But we get 1.7 mil. We only gained about 20k. So yeah, getting those uh, expectations and everything really really matters a lot when it comes to um, this career mode. Next race will be at Darlington for the Carolina Dodge Dealers 400. It Remember, 400, because he used to run two Darlington races back then. One was a 400 miler, and another one was a 500 miler. 500 miler was normally in Labor Day weekend, so if anybody doesn't remember. Team management, um, not a whole lot I don't think we can do. I might repair chassis three. Uh, that will go back up to a 66, actually to a 67. Uh, might as well overhaul that for two races. Um, we only have one for now, but nah, not too bad. So we'll just have to use chassis one for two races. Um, I might use chassis or engine two for Darlington just because I don't want to blow away the third engine or third, yeah, third engine for now. But um, what would this be at again? Okay, 64. Um, sooner or later, I'm going to have to get rid of the original uh, body one and twos or for all of them, but um, I don't know. I, mean, I could repair that. Uh, durability would go up a lot, but uh, I think I'll use uh, body two for uh, Darlington as well. Considering how we did really well in the the, the, fir uh, the last Darlington race, besides me dying, I think I think this will be a, a safe route. Cause I don't know, seven. I just can't wait for seven more races until the body gets uh, rebuilt, and then I can probably sell that. Cause it's like it's so low compared to everything else it's it's laughable at this point because everything else is like right about 60 so I mean it's really bad but as for shop additions we put in the, uh, the body forming tools or what what did else did we put in there uh, yeah I think it was the body forming tools so uh, that's done so what would the body now if I were to build a new body how much would that improve unless does it okay it won't even show me that's that sucks but yeah we have a new shop additions to put in but i don't know what because everything is so much money like i can do that for 18 races but if i want it quicker i can get it in six races or i don't know I'm, I'm still gonna give it some thought because there is still a lot to look at 
Um, I might pick one for maybe six, not six, maybe 12 races for a million, but I want to wait till at least I get two million and then do all that sort of stuff because I don't want to blow out all the money that quick. So at least that's what I'm thinking about doing. Maybe I might go with the templates next. I swear I went with the templates next. Maybe I didn't. Oh no, I think that was the one I was thinking about doing. I think that was the case on us actually so I might do that for 900k at some point I think that I think that's what I'm gonna do next but yeah so um going into the points we'll see what it looks like here um junior's the new points leader by three points over Jarrett I'm in uh where am I 14th in points I've actually got outside the top 10 now but maybe Darlington would help I don't know but yeah so that, that's uh that that was Atlanta um that's really all I have to, to discuss about it. I think I talked a lot about this race, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys, give me in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video, because it helps me out a lot in the long run. And I'll see you all at Darlington. And as always, have a good day, everyone.